Madam Chair, in the last uh, estimates process, I asked the Minister about the uh, School of Traditional Chinese Medicine. Uh, and in particular, I asked about uh, operational uh, funding as well as capital funding for that project. Uh, and in response, the minister said to me uh, that, uh, this was seven months ago, the minist ministry was at the very initial steps of a consultation process um, and that uh, the ministry required uh, to complete consultations before they uh, determined what a budget would be for the capital project for the operational funding for the School of Traditional Chinese Medicine. Uh, looking for an update here, Madam Chair, can the Minister advise about uh, the capital allocation and the operational uh, funding for the School of Traditional Chinese Medicine? Minister. Madam uh, Chair, uh, as a way of update, uh, perhaps a member has followed uh, uh, the, the progress to date, but if not, perhaps for the benefit of this House, uh, to put on the record, uh, we made some incredibly good progress in our commitment to open the School of uh, Traditional Chinese Medicine at a publicly funded post-secondary institution. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, we did appoint a parliamentary secretary from Burnaby North, uh, the MLA from Burnaby North, uh, as parliamentary secretary for additional Chinese medicine in December of 2013. And earlier this year, I was very happy to announce and very pleased to announce that Kwantlen Polytechnic University will host the School of Traditional Chinese Medicine. In terms of the, the funding, uh, government will not be providing any additional new or additional funding for the School of Traditional Chinese Medicine. Member. Madam Chair, uh, I understand, uh, Madam Chair, from the Minister's answer that there will be no additional operational funding provided to Kwantlen to operate this school. In terms of capital investment, uh, what is the Minister's budget for this project? Minister. 
Uh, Madam Chair, uh, Kwantlen Polytechnic University uh, is developing the school's programming and budget over the next several months. Uh, and once these elements of the school are developed, uh, Kwantlen Polytechnic University uh, will determine how the school will be funded. And at this time, uh, there is no allocation of capital funding. Member. Thank you, Madam Chair. Does the Minister understand that Kwantlen will be coming to the Ministry to ask for capital funding or operational funding once they've completed their budget? Mr. Uh, Madam Chair, uh, as I noted, uh, Kwantlen Polytechnic University is, is in the process of looking at the parameters of the school and at this time uh, have not uh, come to the uh, Ministry for Additional Capital uh, Expenditures or a request for same, and I won't speculate on the future. Member. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I'm, I'm curious, uh, Madam Chair, uh, how, how Kwantlen was uh, selected to be the location for this school if they didn't provide any budget uh, or outline of the sc scope or scale of the programming of the school uh, to the ministry, what was the criteria by which uh, the, the school was selected? Uh, I assume um, that there must have been some budgetary consideration, uh, Madam Chair, but maybe I was wrong. Minister. Uh, Madam Chair, um, uh, uh, through you to the member opposite, uh, uh, following the government's announcement that uh, there was a commitment uh, by this ministry to open a school of Chinese traditional medicine at a public funded university, a request for expression of interest uh, was put out uh, to all public post-secondary institutions in, in the summer of 2013, and, and Kwantlen Polytechnic University was indeed announced as a host institution on January 24. And if uh, the uh, member from Vancouver Point Grey request, uh, we can certainly send him a copy of the request of expression of interest. Member. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I, I have to admit, Madam Chair, I'm, I'm very surprised uh, by the Minister's news that this school is going to be funded out of existing resources at Kwantlen University. Um, I know uh, that this is a school that is struggling with the cuts to uh, English as a second language programming a basic building block of education uh, for British Columbians to get the language training they need in order to enter the workplace. Uh, and I wonder if the minister can advise uh, which programs at Kwantlen uh, uh, University he understands will be uh, uh, facing reductions in funding uh, in order to reallocate that funding to the School of uh, Traditional Chinese Medicine. And uh, was that part of the application process? Minister. Madam Chair, the, uh, the request for expression of interest uh, in the summer of 2013 was quite clear. 
uh, you know, quite provocative suggest that you know what program is going to be uh, varied for that. The, the question of interest was quite clear that there's no additional funding was supplied, and uh, and this was supplied to all public post-secondary institutions across British Columbia and and, and Kwantlen Polytechnic University, full well understanding the implications of such applied. Uh, 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 that was successful as well, and did apply with those parameters. Member. Thank you, Madam Chair. I, I uh, note, Madam Chair, that this is a school facing a 28 percent increase in its BC Hydro rate. It's facing the same cuts as every other university and college across the province uh, in, in this budget, a $17 million cut across, uh, across the sector. Uh, they're being asked to do a core review to cut further uh, by this ministry. Uh, they just lost their ESL funding from the federal government, and yet somehow uh, the minister believes that at zero cost to existing student services at the school, the school is going to provide a brand new uh, school of traditional Chinese medicine. So, uh, uh, Madam Chair, uh, can the minister uh, stand uh, here today and assure the students at Kwantlen University that they will not see uh, reduction in services at Kwantlen University in order to pay for the minister's promise of a school of traditional Chinese medicine, uh, given that he's not allocating any new funding for that school? Minister. Uh, Madam Chair, as the uh, school will be offering an entirely new program, uh, Kwantlen Polytechnic University may set the tuition fees uh, in the first year of offering to whatever level they deem appropriate, keeping in mind uh, uh, cost recovery, competition, student retention, for student uh, uh, coming in. Uh, however, once uh, Kwantlen Polytechnic University has established uh, program tuition fees, uh, tuition fees will be subject to advanced uh, education ministry's uh, policy to limit annual increases to 2 percent, uh, regardless of cost increases beyond that initial limit. Member. Thank you, Madam Chair, uh, uh, and thanks to the minister for that clarification. Uh, I wonder, uh, given that Kwantlen will uh, surely be setting tuition at, uh, at cost recovery rates, uh, how this school will be different from any of the many uh, private uh, schools of traditional Chinese medicine that already existed, uh, that were already uh, 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 presumably doing a good job in educating people. Uh, what, what is the reason uh, for uh, the minister allocating uh, public uh, school space to operate 
uh, yet another uh, entirely market-driven uh, traditional school of traditional Chinese medicine, Madam Speaker. Minister. Madam Chair, um, East meets West, new meets old. It's about offering choices to the public on complementary health care and offering choices of complementary health care by accentuating that that complementary health care, those professionals are going to be trained at a public post-secondary institution. It's, it, it's, uh, it's, it's respectful to do so. There's a, a demand as such. But it's all about the public's choices of complementary health care. It's about offering choices to the public, uh, Madam Chair. And uh, to suggest otherwise, uh, Madam Chair, I, I simply don't understand that line of questioning. It's uh, British Columbians are looking for additional choices in managing their health care. Member. Uh, Madam Chair, I'm sorry the minister didn't understand the question. I better move on uh, before we spend the rest of the session on this uh, as time is dwindling. Uh, 